Hey there, time travelers. Welcome back to History Replay this day. On this channel, we hop in our virtual time machine and explore the incredible events that shaped our world. I'm your host, Bella, ready to guide you through another incredible journey. Now, before we get started, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss a history lesson. All right, let's jump right in. On this day, July 22, in 2003, one of the most important and controversial pieces of legislation in the United States, the Sarbanes-Oxley Act, was signed into law. Now, I know what you're thinking. Did she just say a law about financial regulation is one of the most important events in history? Okay. Hear me out. Let's set the scene. The early 2000s, a time of boy bands, Y2K, and a big old dot-com bubble. The internet's promise seemed limitless, leading to astronomical stock prices for web-based companies and overnight millionaires. But like any bubble, it burst. The stock market crashed and there were numerous newspaper headlines about the recession. The collapse of the dot-com bubble led to a severe recession. But there was another storm brewing. One that would forever change the way companies in the United States, and eventually globally, operate. Enter Enron. Enron, led by Ken Lay and Jeff Skilling, was an energy, commodities and services company. On the surface, they were a poster child for the new economy, but underneath that shiny exterior was a dark secret. Enron was cooking their books. When their fraudulent accounting practices came to light, it led to the bankruptcy of the Enron Corporation. This resulted in 20,000 employees losing their jobs and billions in investor losses. It was one of the biggest corporate scandals in American history. This disaster exposed the need for a drastic overhaul of corporate accountability. And that's where our main event, the Sarbanes-Oxley Act, comes into play. The Sarbanes-Oxley Act was named after its architects, Senator Paul Sarbanes and Representative Michael Oxley. It was designed to protect investors from fraudulent accounting activities by corporations. The law set new, stringent standards for all U.S. public company boards, management, and public accounting firms. So, how did this law change the world? Well, it dramatically changed how businesses operate. It pushes for greater transparency in their financial dealings. It holds the CEOs and CFOs personally responsible for the accuracy of their company's financial statements. Now, you might be wondering why a law about financial transparency in the US matters to the rest of the world. Here's why. The Sarbanes-Oxley Act had a global ripple effect, inspiring similar legislation in many other countries influencing international financial reporting standards, and paving the way for a new era of global corporate accountability. Before we wrap up today's story, let's do a quick trivia. Did you know that the Sarbanes-Oxley Act, although a US law, has had far-reaching effects on companies around the globe? For instance, many international companies that are listed on US stock exchanges must also comply with the Act. Now that's a powerful piece of legislation, and that's the story of July 22, 2003, a day that forever changed the corporate world. It's a testament to how a nation's response to a crisis can influence the entire globe. If you found this trip through time interesting, please share this video with your fellow history buffs. And remember, your support means a lot to us. So don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more historical journeys. We'll see you next time on History Replay, this day. Until then, keep exploring and never stop learning.